Hi, and welcome to our Tuppers, bite-sized tips for the mixed media artist by Natalie Callback. Today I wanted to talk about uh, labeling of acrylic paints. Artist uh, acrylic paints are coming in different opacities. So meaning um, they can be opaque, they can be translucent, they can be transparent. And each manufacturer usually labels that on their uh, packaging and they all do it a little bit different so i can show you for example here liquitex a company that i work with they put a little square on top and as you can see this square here is uh, getting out of the picture now it's white and when it's white then it means it's transparent when it's filled in black then that means it's opaque and if it's like half filled with black and half still white, then that means uh, the paint is actually translucent. So, as you might have seen, that square was pretty tiny. You need like some glasses in order to really see that, as least I do. And so that makes it really hard, um, because sometimes you want to be quick, especially when you do mono printing, where it is actually really cool to know is your paint opaque or translucent or transparent, because it gives like totally different effects or whatever it is where you have to work a little bit uh, faster uh, or your hands are like totally messy, which uh, you know happens as a mixed media artist. If it doesn't happen to you, I don't know what you're doing. So anyway, um, so for that matter, I uh, label my paints uh, my own way. I do that by indicating, first of all, using the leftover color from the lid and paint the top of my lid. And then I also uh, use a black marker once the color is dry and put the same signage that the manufacturer uses on top of the lid. So when I have them in the drawer, I can look on top and I see pretty much right away uh, what kind of opacity my paint has. The other advantage of coloring the top of your lid is actually uh, sometimes you have a color, this one is pretty close to the real color, but sometimes you have a color when it's in the packaging and uh, it looks different through the plastic or uh, as it is printed, you know, colors are different in the packaging when they are in real life. So uh, having that painted on a neutral, um, you know, background helps you also to really see what the color looks like when it's on white paper, for example. Um, that's how I label it. I hope that helps and well, see you later.